Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So I know it's a little bit late for this rabbit review, right? But I was actually doing um trading videos, stuff like that. So I was a little bit busy. Anyway, we are here right now. So the SBC actually costs about 137k. He doesn't have any trades. He is three star, five star weak foot, right? He is left footed, high and average body type, six foot four. 192 cm so i don't really like the work rates right medium medium these are the exact same work rates as compared to his uh, 86 version previously which i have also used so his acceleration is 81 with print speed being at 87 the attack positioning is 86 right with the shot power being very very high at 96 finishing is uh relatively decent at 78 so as for his passing, he's actually very good as well, right? 93 short passing with uh, 89 long passing and 84 vision. So the agility and balance is always an issue with Rebuild, given his body type as well and also given his um, height. So agility and balance are both at 82, right? Um, dribbling reactions are all at 89 and ball control is at 92, right? Um, interceptions is at 89. Defensive awareness is at 78, which I think it's a bit low and we need to boost the uh, defensive awareness. Right, stand tackle is at 91, which is fantastic. Relatively strong as well at 87 strength and 95 stamina. The camp style for him, I think it's pretty straightforward, right? Just a shadow, like I mentioned, we need to boost that um, defensive awareness as well as that pace, right? So let's actually move over here. This will be the team that we will be playing him in, right? Um, the reason why I have Lokatali in the team is because both of them are medium high and um, some of you who actually did his SBC would probably wonder how they how they will complement each other right in the midfield setup so let's try it out so I'm actually gonna be playing him in a 3-5-2 formation right him and um, Lokatali both would have exactly the same instructions right cut passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center so the reason why I want to do this is because I want to see when two medium high work rates defensive midfielder play together, right? Who would actually be staying back and who would actually be going forward despite having the exact same um, instructions. So for Rebuild, right, his attack positioning is 86. For Lokatali is 83. Right? So based on stats, Rebuild should be the one that goes forward more often than Nokatali, right? But because AI plays in a different way other than just looking at stats, so we shall see. Yeah, and let's let's see how he plays, man. Destroyers. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Cafu starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Jorginho plays alongside Ad All right, Locatali with the interception. And the focal point, the fans, coaching staff and team. So I want to see All right, look at look at Rebuilds attacking AI, right? Uh defensive AI. Look at look at Rebuilds defensive AI. He's so far off. Right, he is so far off. He's not really tracking back. Nicely cut out. Now attacking possibilities for Invincibles. So Rebuild seems to be the one that is sitting back a little bit more. He did a lot. How was the pack weight, Bibit? How was the pack weight for the triple triple upgrade, the 80 plus? Isn't that a pen? That's a pen, right? Oh, this guy's had enough, man. Hey, let's go, Rebuild. Let's go in the club. Give him some love, chat. He's worth it. He's very agile with the ball. Sometimes I don't remember certain things, alright? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, a bit messy. <laughs> Getting old already. Yep. Facts. Getting old. Consequence of old age, chat. All right, Rebuild. Winning the ball back. Rashford. 
I, I can't. Alright, Rabiot winning the ball back again. Well, no stopping him. All right, Rabiot with the interception. Oh, right, Rabiot. Let's try out the dribbling. Just the challenge that was required. And space for him to cut in. Right, good interception by Lokatali. Good piece of defending. Right, Rabiot with a forward run. I see you, Rabiot. So Rabio seems to be sitting. Right, Lokatali seems to be going forward more. Alright, good good interception by Rabio. A bit sloppy in possession. Alright. Rabio. Alexandro. Can they square the game? And a goal! Now they've lost it. Well, not long left now, but this crowd have been Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, can you believe that would in all likelihood secure a victory? Messi. Able to skip past his man. Whoo, Rabio with the right foot. Not bad, not bad. Five star weak foot. Do the people here, right, not stay for longer than like a minute in the game? Bet you haven't tried Team of the Year who did. Well, you're wrong. I did try him. I tried him out in a draft. And the starting 11 for Invincibles. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays. Lionel Messi! <clears throat> because of the GOAT Maguire. All the kids are saying they don't want to play as um attackers, you know. They don't want to play as midfielders. Everybody just want to be a centre-back. So there might be a shortage of attackers in the future. And midfielders. Grealish. Now with Thuna. Maguire single-handedly inspiring the next generation, guys. Probably a lick, lick on player, right? Is it? I'm guessing. I haven't tried uh, Bird Whistle though. Right, anybody know who's Bird Whistle? The only Singaporean in FIFA. Oh, Rabio, nice. G getting forward. All of them got, got his uh, shadow kick, man. Right, good ball by Rabio. Uh, I was trying to do player lock there, chat. Actually, right, I would say only like uh, two and a half full games or three games, right, we have a lot of our rage quits. And Rebel has three goals. Right now, I want to actually try him out, right? I want to see how he plays, right? Without any instructions, right? It's just, everything is balanced. He's just going to have cover center. I want to see his um base defensive AI and attacking AI, right? How is it like, right? Does he go forward more or does he stay back more? And yeah, let's see how he plays, man. It needs an accurate cross. And the starting right, Lokatali with another good tackle. Emilia it's my guy, Rabio. Right, I trigger him forward. 
Rabiot next up the challenge that was required well, they might be onto something oh that's a pen ref Yellow card, no. right if if you wanna see right let's go Rabiot I'm step padding with Rabiot as usual Disappointing end to the move. Right, Rabiot. Good ball to Jackie. Alright, let's go, Rabiot. Kick. Yep. That was not a very good pass. Alright, let's look at Rabiot. Right, he doesn't hurry back into his uh, defensive position. Right, we held that stay back while attacking. Rubber inside the final quarter of an hour now. And it might be. Could be. Yep. Another goal. Rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Locatelli. Chance to finish. Another goal. The lead. Defending to deny him. Rudy Fuller. Lionel Messi. And he's through here. Wow, what a ball. What a ball by Messi. Guys, do you see that ball from Messi? Alright, good interception by Rabiot. Alright, we managed to play um about I would say about five games or so with Rabiot. He has uh five goals, right? So let's talk about the pros of the card. His passing is alright as well. And um, I guess one of the biggest pro of the card, right, is the 5-star weak foot. Let's talk about the cons of the card. I think that he's, um, you know, he just feels like a passenger in game, to be honest. Right, I just feel like he doesn't really do much in the midfield. And uh, he actually got outperformed by some of our other central midfield players. Right, uh, he can feel like he's just standing, just occupying a random position on the pitch, right. If you guys saw, he didn't really... Get back into that defensive position quickly. Probably because of the medium work rate. And of course his dribbling it's not um ideal as well, right? Pretty, pretty clunky. And I think his pace is like, you know, it's not really quick, but it's not really slow as well. It's somewhere in the middle. So let's actually come over here. So the best camp style for him is definitely the um shadow chemistry style, right? And uh I think that right. His best position is definitely a CDM. I don't think you want him as a box-to-box, -box, right? So if you really want to get him, stay a box-to-box -box beside him. So uh, where does he go in the tier list? S, A, B, or C? I have to say he's like a mid. It's a very mid B tier card. Like I mentioned, his defensive AI is just like, it's very, very a uh, meh, you know, not very, very mid. Not, not. Not too great, I would say. Not too great, right? I'm trying to force it if I say that he has defensive, decent defensive AI. His pace is not that great as well. So, mid B tier for me. If you guys notice, right, we played Lokatali beside him, right, as a CDM as well with the same instructions, right? And Lokatali far, far outperforms uh, Rebuild, right? Quite, he's quite clear of Rebuild defensively, right? He made a couple of uh, really good tackles, interceptions, right? He showed pretty decent pace as well, Lokatali, despite him, you know, having one less acceleration than uh, Rabiot and eight less sprint speed. So I would take Lokatali over Rabiot. So I guess, right, even the likes of, um, like, base Marquisio is four star, four star, right? High, high work rates, right? I would say that base Marquisio is better than uh, Rabiot as well, even though I would think that. Marquisio is more of a box to box. So we have uh, Benesia as well. I've done a review on Benesia as well. So you guys can check the review out if you guys want to. 4 star, 3 star, high medium work rate. I think Benesia is more of a CDM as well. And I think he's better than uh, Rabiot. I think Benesia has a uh, better passing. He has a little bit more smoothness on the ball, right? Um, he's quicker as well. So we also have uh, Zambo Angisia, right, who's about 21k. Right, 3 star, 3 star, medium low work rate. Again, I I think that, you know, they are pretty similar 
in game but in terms of the price right rebuild is about like 130k right i think angisia is better as well and recently we we have the gatuso sbc right which i've done a review on you guys can check it out as well i know i know gatuso is about 400k so i just want to give you guys a perspective of the difference in quality right between rebuild and other defensive midfielders right gatuso is definitely better as well right fantastic defensive ai so the last question to answer is is rebuild worth it to do at 137k i would say no simply because uh remember we are just less than two weeks away from team of the season and you know for cut to have a medium medium work rate and not having that great defensive AI, right? Uh, and you know he doesn't go forward that much as well. All this tells me that it's not he's not gonna be worth it. Even if he has superior defensive AI, right? Rebuild, how? And he doesn't get forward that much, right? I would say he's not worth it because in two weeks time when we get team of the season cards, there are gonna be cards that cost you about hundred to two hundred k, right? Based on the current market, and they probably can play the DM role really really well as well as offering you some kind of uh, attacking support right and the defensive midfielders dribbling all right would be way better as well so i would say for me right it's a no go for me right? i wouldn't complete this sbc because he, he's gonna get replaced in less than two weeks right so i've actually come to the end of the review right if you guys enjoy the video hit the like button if you guys want to see more trading videos player reviews how to craft sbcs I'm actually going to be releasing a tactics video as well, right? So keep a lookout for that, right? If, you, if you're into all this stuff, right? Hit that sub button, man. All right, guys, and I'm out. Take care, guys.